All right, guys, working on this Toyota Hilux uh, Gen 2 ECU. Since the last video, I've gone through and labeled a ton of these DTCs and their uh, functions. In this video, we're just going to spend a couple minutes, and I'm going to show you guys how to find the uh, mass airflow sensor scalar, and it's going to be real quick. So go to this PO100. Go to this larger function that calls it, and we're going to start clicking through these RAM addresses until we find one that is not used very many times. And in this function, it's only used as a read. Okay, that's not it because it's used by all these other functions. So we're going to cl keep clicking through. Okay, click on that one. Okay, so that's what writes to it, or zero. Okay, this looks like it's it. I don't know, this is weird. I don't know, moving on. Um, this looks like the beginning of a 2D structure. All right, and 29 in hex. is 41 okay typically it starts at this byte so we're just gonna go okay there's 41 so that's gonna be the x-axis and there's 41 so 41 okay and it really is that easy guys that is our mass airflow sensor scalar um i mean i could be wrong right we would need to complete or continue reverse engineering this file out further but pretty darn sure um in every other ecu i've messed with so far if you track a dtc to a 2d scalar that quick it's it's got to be it it's always it so Call that math calibration. This UVAR is going to be math volts. And this we're going to call math volts. IVAR PPUVAR plus F700. ultimately is what it's saying is this is math mass airflow sensor flow we need to see what is going on with this 700 probably math flow 602506 or 2560 probably 25 probably a 16 bit so 2560 so that's going to be its default flow while DTC I guarantee you you guys got to be thinking about this when you're driving while you're sleeping have this kind of stuff on your mind all right, so now let's track down back to the DTC and we're comparing voltage to this value. So it's gotta be equal or above. We'd have to spend a minute reverse engineering this to make sure 28F. And decimal 655. Okay, well, anyways, we're gonna keep reverse engineering this uh, structure, this function. And as we dig through it, we're gonna continue to pile data points and whatnot so this is flow into winnels and then find our factors to multiply these values by to get 
real world values. All right, thanks for watching, guys.